Hi everybody, welcome to the weekly White Claw Wrap Up. Cheers. Cheers. Happy Saturday. Justin and I were uh, just relaxing this on this nice Saturday evening on our emerald green couch. Yeah, you met that last week. <laughs> yeah. Now you get a different view of it. Yeah. And you'll hopefully get a sunset. Depends yeah. how long we talk. Yeah. Dep you mean depends how long you talk. <laughs> yeah. So what are we talking about this week? Well, everybody's favorite topic. Career. Career. Yes. What about career? So, career, we, we want to talk about it in a little bit of a different light because I think so often our society teaches us to value career almost as a version of your identity. And by that, it's, you know, you meet somebody and it's, hi, my name is so-and-so, what is it that you do? And then it automatically becomes a, a definition or an, an identity marker of who you are and what you do. And, you know, I think in, in this journey that we call life, I have, I certainly have come to understand that it's not necessarily about what you do. If you listen to our to um, our, our weekly White Claw wrap up front. Oh, that's a tongue twister. But weekly I think I White Claw wrap up. <laughs> yeah. From last week, we talked about a lot about legacy and the mark that you leave on the world. But it's not about leaving the mark on the world. It's about how you show up in, in um, on a daily basis and, and the values that you carry. And I think it's really, what I have been finding is it's really important to continue to make sure that you have those values in your career. And I know in, in my situation from a very young age, I thought I had to be one person at home or win my social life and then another person in my job. I had to show up, you know, with these walls up and, you know, it, being professional was about not letting people necessarily see who you truly are. And I think that's something that I certainly have busted through. I've learned to truly be myself both at home and at work. Um, and it's all, it's created a much healthier relationship for me with my career. You know, for me, I, I'm not defined by, by what I do in my job. Yes, I, I enjoy my job. Um, and I spend a good portion of my time doing that, but it's not, it's not how I define myself. How about you? What does career mean to you? Oh, I think, I, I mean, everything you said is so true because I was on the other end of it for a long time where I was hiding behind a mask in my career. I... Uh, that's what I've, if you've ever, if you've read a lot of my books or um, have entered into Own It, uh, our community, at some point you've heard this story where I say my success that I found there is my ultimate fulfillment or is my ultimate failure because I found success without fulfillment. And it, so often as high performers, as we, as we all are, people watching this, the more that you succeed the less you start looking for something else. Now, if we were to fail, we would continue to try and find new ways to get our, the job done or find something else that fulfilled us. It was just, it's not a true failure, it's a learning experience and we just start pivoting and pivoting and pivoting. But as we just continue to ascend the mountain, it leaves us feeling so empty inside and, and we have a hard time giving it up or a hard time moving outside of it because it's so attached to our ego and it's so attached to our identity and we can't see ourselves without being that person we can't see ourselves without having that attachment and it becomes very scary mm -hmm. definitely and so i think the big thing is if you're feeling that if you feel something deep down that like I, I do feel unfulfilled in what i'm doing i do feel that there's more for me i do feel there's something else for me lean into that ask some questions like, what, what was it that you started to ask yourself when you knew exactly what you wanted to do when you were 13, 13 years old? I, I mean, I think that was a different story that it, my, my current career kind of um, fell into my lap. Uh, but, you know, it was one of those things that as I continued to explore it, I, I continue to, to love that, that area. But what questions did you ask as you went and continued to move up? And you said you at first thought that you needed to be somebody different in each place, but the moment that you were able to embrace you as a whole, everything became easier, everything became more fun, and everything flowed better. What was it that you had to do in order to get there? What steps, if somebody's looking for that? I think a big part of it is vulnerability. You know, it's not easy to show Very true. you who you are as you are, 
um, on a daily basis, especially these, um, you know, when you start working out with them, all of your coworkers are just acquaintances. But then as you show up, oh. Yeah, he agrees. Dell's agreeing. As, <laughs> as you show up, as you are on a daily basis, you start to get this connection with people by showing them who you are and and, le- and and letting them see that side of you. And I think it's it's really, it's a really, imp- and for me, I learned it later on in my career. You know, I really only learned this a couple of years ago. Um, and it was, it was something that for me has brought a lot of value to my day to day when it comes to how I show up at my job. That's great. And if it, if you're in that place where you're like, you're ascending the ladder, you've gone and you're doing exactly what you want to do or and and you feel this level of emptiness inside you or you feel there's more for you or you feel like there's a different step or direction you want to go lean into that start asking yourself questions what is it that you truly want to do find some clarity there allow yourself to dissociate from you as seen as that person in your job and ask yourself who am i what are your values? What make what skills do you have? What talents do you have? What gives you energy? What takes energy away? What are your non-negotiables? And when you become so clear on that, all of a sudden you'll start to find some of the answers you're looking for. Maybe the organization you're working for doesn't measure up and there's this level of dissonance. Maybe who you have to be at your job doesn't measure up to who you want to be. And that creates that dissonance. Even though it might be theoretically what you want to do, it's it's not giving you that fulfillment or it's falling short because of those little things. And it might just be a way that you can show up differently. Something very small, a small minor change. But with today's society, with today's technology, with today, with the different life that we're in, COVID versus pre-COVID versus post-COVID, Life is completely different. I don't think we're post-COVID yet. That is true. Hopefully we're still, someday soon. Still in the middle of it. Pre but and current COVID. I, I would even say like every month for the next, for the foreseeable future, there's going to be massive changes in the way every business does. Oh, yeah. Every career does business. Yeah. And so the opportunities are endless in how you can show up and be different and really have that level of uh, take the power back from being run by your ego, being run by that level of um, interaction with your person and that person who you are at your career and seeing them as one, but rather knowing that you as a person is not defined by what it is that you do. And it's simply just some, just a career that you hold. Yep. So with that, cheers to career. Cheers. Cheers to fulfillment. Cheers to Saturday. And cheers to Saturday. Go on it. Go on it.